In this video, we will discuss matrices. A matrix is a grid of numbers surrounded by round or square brackets. The shape, size, or dimensions of a matrix is the number of rows by the number of columns. When referring to entries in a matrix, we first specify the row and then the column. So the ij entry of a matrix is the number in the ith row and jth column. Let's look at an example. The matrix A is the matrix whose first row was 1, 2, minus 1, and second row is 3, 0, 7. A is a 2 by 3 matrix. Note that when naming matrices, it's traditional to use capital letters. The 2, 1 entry of A is the entry in the second row and first column. We often use a lowercase a with a subscript 2, 1 to refer to the 2, 1 entry of the matrix A. There is some important terminology associated with matrices. A matrix is called square if it has the same number of rows as columns. The diagonal of a matrix consists of the entries that lie on the same row as column, and a matrix is called diagonal if all entries off the diagonal are zero. A matrix is called upper triangular if all entries below the diagonal are zero, and lower triangular if all entries above the diagonal are zero. That is, a matrix is upper triangular if non-zero entries exist exclusively in the upper triangle of the matrix, and lower triangular if they are exclusively in the lower triangle. There are two special matrices that have special notations, identity matrices and zero matrices. An identity matrix is a square matrix with ones on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. We notate an identity matrix with a capital I and a subscript indicating its size. A zero matrix is a matrix whose entries are all zero, and it is notated with a zero and a subscript indicating its size. However, if the size of an identity matrix or a zero matrix is obvious from context, we can omit the subscript indicating its size. 